we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no Good morning guys so we decided to vlog today but I also wanted to share with you guys what I eat throughout the day whenever I eat at home I feel like in most of my vlogs you guys see me going out and getting coffee and going out and getting fast food and the reason that is is because I typically vlog on days whenever I know I'm gonna leave the house for something because I feel like it's more entertaining I don't know but believe it or not we do eat at home I do have my coffee at home I've already well it's already gotten cold at this point but I did make my coffee at home this morning let me address this do you guys see this it's like the head injuries just keep getting worse. I sat him down this morning while I was getting Liam ready for school. And then when I picked him back up, he had this on his forehead. I just don't know. He never cried. He never acted like anything happened. So there's that. But anyway, so I've already had my coffee for the morning. One of you guys recommended, because I was talking about how I'm not a morning person, it's so hard for me getting up in the morning to get Liam ready for school and stuff. I was dropping him off at school and then coming home and having my coffee or getting it out and one of you guys were telling me to make it first thing whenever I get up and that is helpful. It does make me feel more positive and alive in the mornings, so thank you. I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer. I think I just wasn't taking the extra time in the mornings or waking up early enough to have the extra time in the mornings to have my coffee before I left. I was kind of just like waking up last minute, you know? But if you guys are curious, I showed myself making it. I just used the Dunkin' Donuts Original K-Cup and the International Delight Hershey's Chocolate Caramel Creamer. And I put the creamer in my little milk frother and it was super delicious. If you guys are new here, when I make iced coffee, at home I usually do like a iced caramel macchiato with oat milk and then for hot coffee I prefer a mocha a mocha moment also today's video is a collaboration with my friend Marie Marie has a YouTube channel as well she has quickly become one of my best friends here on YouTube I've done a collaboration with her before so some of you guys may already be subscribed to her if you're not I highly recommend that you check out her channel we actually live very similar lives although she has four kids okay instead of three I don't know how she does it Okay, this line that I'm in is moving. Hold on just a moment. Anyways, like I was saying, I highly recommend her channel. She is very, very honest and real. I love that about her. She's just like me. She's not gonna sugarcoat motherhood. If she's having a bad day, she's gonna let you know she is not fake. So I love that. I'm gonna go ahead and let her introduce herself. Hey y'all, my name is Marie. I'm a stay-at-home mama from Georgia. My channel is all things motherhood and homemaking. I share tons of mom life cleaning motivation, day in the life of vlogs, decorating inspiration, and so much more. I've been married to my husband Eric since 2016 and we are creating a life we love with our four kids, Adeline, Arabella, Nolan, and Jackson. My goal is to motivate and inspire other moms and I'd love for you to come on over and follow along with our journey. So definitely when you get finished watching this video, head over and check out her video as well. Subscribe to her channel, comment, let her know that I sent you, show her some love. But anyways, we are currently sitting in the line for the car wash because I wanted to go and get my car washed yesterday. It really needs it. It kind of started warming up yesterday and today it's even warmer. But I drove by here yesterday and the line was out to the road. And it's 8 a.m. right now and the line's still pretty long today, but we're gonna knock it out. We're gonna do it. But he was not happy in his car seat, so he's up here with me. So you're gonna get a front row show, a front row seat to the car wash. I'm interested to see how he's gonna react. And also, I did wanna say, I am gonna share what Miles and Bryce eat throughout the day as well. Liam usually eats breakfast at school. He did ask for a snack this morning, so he had a go -gurt before school, but he typically does eat breakfast at school. If he doesn't, then he will eat like oatmeal or something at home. Also, that's why I look like this. Okay, this is what I look like when I drop. Honestly, I normally look worse when I drop Liam off at school. Normally my hair's not even straightened. 
and I look scary, but I knew I was gonna be filming today, so I straightened it really quick, but definitely in a big, huge, old t-shirt, okay? And joggers. Let's be honest, I wear the joggers regardless. Hear the crickets, see the moon. Side side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Okay, so this morning for breakfast, I really wanted a bagel with cream cheese. Now, normally I just get the plain bagels. I don't normally buy the blueberry ones, but Walmart was completely out of the plain bagels. They didn't have them in the refrigerator section by the cream cheese, and they didn't have any on the bread aisle either. They only had like the everything bagels or the blueberry bagels. So I went with blueberry. Hopefully it's good. We're also gonna make some eggs and some strawberries. Bryce usually has strawberries or bananas with his eggs in the morning. So that is what we're gonna have for breakfast. I wanted to show you guys our new toaster as well. It's a four slice toaster. I've never had a four slice toaster. The one we had before was this old Old, like cheap one from Walmart literally the numbers were already rubbed off of it we really needed a new one this toaster was actually gifted to us by the brand Redmond and I think it is so cute I love that it has like a retro look to it now they have multiple colors on their website but I really wanted the white one as I kind of swap out my appliances I do want to get more white appliances I just think it's very pretty I'm really excited to use it this morning I have not made a bagel in it yet but as you can see it has a special button for bagels reheat defrost which my other toaster did not have if you're interested in checking out their toasters I will have everything linked down below as well as a discount code for you guys Okay, so here's our breakfast. I didn't make enough eggs, so I did the classic mom life. I took the scraps. I gave him the amount that I thought he would eat, and then I just gave myself what was left. But I also added some yogurt onto Bryce's plate just to give him a little something extra. I'm gonna try to go ahead and eat really quick because Miles fell asleep. For some reason, Miles is still napping. He fell asleep like right before we got home and he's still asleep. So I guess he's taking his nap like super early. But I wanna show you guys, I'm drinking my water, okay? I have got to get better about drinking my water. So we're gonna try to get back in that habit. I'm really hoping that Miles will wake up soon because my boobs are full. If you're new here, I still nurse my seven month old son and he was just recently going through a phase where for like over a month where he was waking up over and over and over and over again throughout the night to nurse and I was losing my mind and I was getting no sleep, but he just started sleeping longer stretches and last night I put him down in his crib around nine and I think he slept until like 1.45 and then when he woke up then I just put him in the bed with me. Also, if you're new here, we are kind of transitioning from bed sharing to him sleeping in his crib. So I'm doing like the first stretch of the night in his crib. I'm putting him down in his crib. And then when he wakes up, I put him in the bed with me for the rest of the night. And that's kind of how I slowly do it. Eventually I will actually get back up and put him back in the crib and hopefully he'll eventually just sleep through the whole night in a script. But that's what we're doing right now. And since he's been sleeping the longer stretches again, I've just been waking up so full and he kind of just like half nursed this morning he didn't he has not been emptying me okay he's really started to get like distracted with his nursing and he pops off and he'll just nurse for just like a very short amount of time and then he's over it so i don't really know what's going on with that i'm thinking i might start waking up in the mornings and pumping like as soon as i wake up just empty them both just pump and the first time i give him milk for the day maybe it'll just be in a bottle because i'm really afraid i'm going to start getting clogged milk ducts again if i don't do something like that i don't know but Whenever he wakes up, I'll show you guys what 
he's gonna be having. Usually for his breakfast, I try to do a fruit and oatmeal. So today I'm gonna give him this apple, banana, and oatmeal cereal, and then hopefully he'll nurse. I don't know, I'm considering pumping right now, to be honest. Well, I'm really glad that I decided to pump because he's still asleep. I pumped for like 15 minutes, and I don't know if you can tell, but I got roughly seven ounces altogether. Look who's awake. Oh, mommy. Are you happy now that you had a long, luxurious nap? Mommy. His thing on his forehead looks a lot less red mm -hmm. already. It looks like just a little scratch now. Oh, it's weird. Excuse me, sir, what do you have? Do you have mommy's pump part? Does it taste like milk? It does it? He literally has no interest in his food because he's too busy playing with my pump parts. Here you go. That's better. Flyers. Here you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> do y'all hear bras? Eat the food. <laughs> Did y'all hear bras? He said, eat the food. Eat Here you go. It's a yummy. It's a yummy. It's a yummy. It's a yummy. You want a bite? Bye. Okay, you guys, so I'm starting lunch. I got some water boiling. We're just gonna make this spinach and ricotta ravioli. If you guys have been around for a while, you know that I love making this for lunch. Bryce loves it. I can sneak in some spinach into him. He's always ate this, even though he doesn't like any green vegetables, but for some reason he will eat this and he doesn't realize. So that's a win. I also think I'm gonna take some of this and cut it up and not put sauce on it and try to give it to Miles and see how he does with it. But yeah, this is so easy. You just boil your pasta and then you just throw some pasta sauce on it. It's really nice because these only take like four minutes to boil and then it's done. And we usually have some left over as well. So I went ahead and put some raviolis in a bowl over here with no sauce. We're just gonna use this Prego tomato, basil, and garlic sauce today. There's a couple different sauces that I like with this. You can use whatever you want, but we're gonna see if Miles will eat this. So here's mine and this is Bryce's. I just cut his up pretty small and then I put his on his tray. I don't know how he feels about it yet. The reason I didn't do sauce is because I was hoping that it'd be a little bit easier for him to pick up because with sauce on it, it's like slippery and I feel like he wouldn't get as much to eat. Also, this will be less messy, I figured, but we did spaghetti one night and he was absolutely covered in sauce, but he did enjoy it. Ooh, is that yummy? Mmm. He doesn't hate it. That's good. I just wanted to point out that this morning I told you guys I looked a hot mess because I had just dropped Liam off at school and I still look identical to that. I'm still wearing a big old t-shirt and I've done nothing with myself. It's been a pretty lazy, chill day. Lunch was good. Bryce got to play outside for a little bit. Although it's warmer outside, it doesn't feel warmer than it was yesterday because it's super windy out there. But Miles is taking a nap right now and whenever he wakes up, we have to leave, go get Liam from school, and then I have to meet Liam's dad and all of that. But then whenever we get back, I will share with you guys what we make for dinner. So tonight for dinner, I'm just going to be making tacos and I wanted to share this with you guys because typically Josh and I do not care for tacos at home. We've just never really liked them that much, but we recently started started making them with ground chicken and then using this Kinder's taco seasoning. And I don't know what it is, but the combination of these two things makes them so good. And we literally could eat these tacos every week. So we just have our ground chicken, our taco seasoning. These are the tortilla shells that I like. These are the ones that Josh likes. Sour cream, Taco Bell sauce, shredded lettuce. And then we've also been making this Old El Paso cheesy Mexican rice. I personally like to make little tacos or like burritos and put the rice in it just because whenever I get food at like Taco Bell, usually the burritos I get have rice in it. So I, I don't know, I just like it that way. But yeah, so this is what I'm about to make for dinner. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay. The sun could go
Okay you guys, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video here. Josh is home, we're just enjoying dinner and enjoying the evening with each other. He actually has to work tomorrow, tomorrow's a Saturday. Sometimes he has to work them, sometimes he doesn't. This week he does, unfortunately, so. But I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new here, if you're coming from Marie's channel and you made it this far in the video, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. Today was kind of like a chill day where we, for the most part, stayed home. But if you want to go back and watch the last like two or three vlogs, those are more like busy out and about type vlogs if you are into those. But anyways, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.